If you're into contouring your nose with powder and you don't know which brush to buy that's best for contouring your nose with, then in this next segment of who will win, I'm going to share with you five of them and tell you which one will win. I've mentioned that I do have a problem with my nose and I think it's a little bit on the grande side. So I like to contour my nose with powder. I don't like to go too crazy with it like I used to. If you ever decide to see some of my previous videos, you will see how crazy I went with my nose contour. Wasn't the prettiest, but now I feel like I have a routine that works really well and is natural but defined enough for me to not look like a clown. Here are the five nose contour brushes that I accumulated within the past year or so, two years, and I have tried every single one of these and I will tell you which one I think is the best one. These are actually all from the drugstore which is really nice. I believe there's only one of them that isn't available anymore and I am really deeply sorry about that. I'm really sad about that myself because this is actually one of my favorite brushes. I haven't seen a lot of these toothbrush brushes in store. Probably am not actively looking for them. That's probably why but I will link everything down below. Before we get into it, I do prime my nose with a primer. The reason I do that is because I have a really shiny nose and it does get really oily and I want my powders to stick. For contour powder, I use the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I use the middle contour shade right here. It's pretty much my perfect shade and to blend the contour lines I like to use this yellow banana color and you'll see it in the next clip when I go into the brushes. Let's start with the e.l.f. smudge brush. I originally wanted to buy this because I wanted a really nice eyeshadow brush to smudge out eyeshadow and eyeliner on my lower lash line and it works really really well for that but then I thought ooh this might work really well as a nose contour brush too. So I tried it and okay. I love this thing. It's so easy to apply your contour powder in the straightest and thinnest line on the nose. What I like to do is just dip right into the contour powder. I don't even dab it off on the back of my hand. I just want the darkest pigment to go on so that the contour actually has some definition. And then when I go in with the yellow powder, it just blends it out so seamlessly, but you still see that the nose has a little bit of definition there. So I feel like if I went a little bit light-handed at first with the contour, then I would just completely blend it out with the yellow powder. This is the e.l.f. contouring brush. I thought I was going to like this and I saw this first on Tati's channel. I don't know if this is the same exact brush that she bought, but when I first got into nose contouring about two years ago, I was thinking, why not buy a brush that's actually specifically made for contouring? I don't use this anywhere else in my face. I just wanted this for my nose, but I found that I don't understand how to actually use this. So it created the thickest contour line ever. And then I tried to just put powder right on the edge of the brush and do it just like that. But I still felt like it's just so bulky and it's so big. And I wanted something way smaller than this. This is really soft, by the way. But I wanted something way smaller than this because if I was trying to get the thinnest lines down my nose, just don't understand how this one would work. So I don't think I like the contouring brush at all. I wouldn't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've been putting on makeup for over a decade and I still don't know what I'm doing. The next brush is the toothbrush one. This is the most recent purchase of mine and I refuse to buy any more makeup brushes after this because I have way too many and I only pick and choose whichever ones that I actually use. I actually really like this brush. It's not only really soft, but it's dense and it's so thin that you can get a very thin and defined line much like the e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm not really sure if you can see that, but they're pretty much the same width. I feel like these are really similar and you can go either way with these. The next one is the e.l.f. blending brush. Now this one takes a little bit of pinching, a little bit more work than the other brushes because it does splay a little bit. So it's not gonna be your perfect, like super dense, compact brush. So I do find myself having to pinch the sides and run the contour powder down the sides of my nose. But honestly, this one works pretty well too. And sometimes when I'm in a rush and I just don't wanna pinch, then I will just take this brush and just run the contour powder down the sides of my nose to just get a really quick, 
defined nose. It's not gonna be as defined as when I use the other brushes, but it's not that bad. And lastly, this is the Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I think that's what it's called anyway. There's no name on it and I threw out the packaging many years ago. If I could find a dupe for it, something similar, I will link it in the description box. After the e.l.f. contour brush really disappointed me, I looked in my collection to see if I can use another brush without my having to buy another one and I decided to try this one and I definitely got this tip from a beauty youtuber i don't remember which one but she pinched her brush to get a really nice defined contour on her cheekbone and that's what i mentioned with this elf brush oh my goodness that really really works this is the brush that i was using after the contour brush and i never went back to the contour brush because it sucks it's really hard for me to pick a winner because all of them well these four work really really well but i think i will have to say that the elf smudge brush is probably my favorite and definitely wins out of these four it's just the easiest to handle the easiest to apply powder with it's so inexpensive i think this was like two or three dollars at target elf really makes some of the best brushes out there and for the most affordable price i don't think i will be buying any brushes anymore only if i have to replace something share with me in the comments what your favorite contour powder is i kind of don't want to support kat von d anymore after the whole thing and i really want to try another one that's cruelty free so if you have any ideas please let me know subscribe to see my videos videos for me. If you would like to see another who will win video, I will link them in the description box or you can click on it in the end screen. I'm not sure if I have one or two, but they will definitely be linked.